Why am I the only one at this convention who thinks a black woman being president is worth the run? I spoke with Davi, the show's creator, early on, actually in the first interview, we talked about trying to create some sort of thematic sound for both the Phyllis Schlafly Stop the RA side and for the feminist side. Do we want women to be treated just like men? The Phyllis Schlafly sound and um, sonic palette became very traditional and using a lot of um, snare drums and orchestral elements like flute and some trumpet and uh, strings, obviously. Thank you, you did not come here to be delivered. Then for the feminist side, it had more um, like found percussion, hand claps and tambourines and different things like that, or even hitting the sides of random drums or plastic jugs or different things like, like that. Guitar and synths became a bit more of the sound for their side of things. <laughs> That episode was really fun because that episode was really just about like trying to make it feel as as kind of loopy as possible, as crazy as possible. We knew that based on kind of the temp music and the way that they were approaching uh, some of that, that it would be mostly percussion and trying to figure out what were like the weirdest sounds. I think Davi was even requesting some of those like whistles or recorder or different things like that. And uh, it was really just about trying to make it sound as wacky and fun and weird as possible. I was the only one who had the audacity to shake this system up. Her episode was really what uh, cemented the sound of the feminist for me. I think that, yeah, working on that episode, I think it was really just interesting how we're, we don't talk about that more you know i think that like that was something that i i was really excited about in seeing this show and seeing that episode but you know it's something that i feel like should be a much bigger part of history in general it's a little surprising and saddening to me that um the only reason i know about that is just because of probably being um being black and like, you know, my family talking about that and then learning about it on my own. But I can't remember any sort of educational environment where somebody told me about Shirley Chisholm and being able to see this episode and see how well uh, Uso Aduba did with, with the role was just uh, really inspiring. Here you go, Ms. Schlafly. It's Mrs. Schlafly. I'm married. One of the things that I think drew me to the project in the first place was how they were handling Phyllis's character and how it was unbiased. And I think that that's something that is so difficult to do in a time like this because we want to be really vocal about why some, somebody's doing something wrong or, or why people are not on the same page when it comes to some of these things. But being able to see someone that we may not agree with politically, but still being able to see her as a human first was really amazing to me. And I was really interested in how to, how to score that. There might be times where I, as Chris, might feel like I think that Phyllis is an evil person, but <laughs> trying to see her as a human first and foremost was a very interesting challenge something i really love about different projects is when they are able to take a complex character like that and let you see other sides of them that that maybe make you think a little bit deeper into who they are as opposed to just this surface level beliefs that we maybe disagree with we are just beginning to discover each of us who we can be and no matter how long this revolution may take, there can be no turning back. So the, the theme there is something that we do hear early on, I think in episode two with Gloria. And the thing with that, that scene was just the pacing of it again. I think that was the most interesting thing about this show in general sometimes. And so the beginning has this like slight 
undulation to it or slight like rhythm to it. I feel like that was one of the cues where you can just hear each shift if you're paying attention to that, but wanting to make that feel as seamless as possible. So by the time we get to the, the end, it just feels like a, it was this natural swell. I got a job. A job? It's empowering. You used to feel empowered by me. I used to feel scared. That scene was trying to combine their, the, both of their themes, Alice's theme and Phyllis's theme, in a more emotional way. And there's a sadness to the end of their friendship and to how they both seem to feel about that, but also we wanted to represent how empowered Alice feels in that moment. So it's such a subtle cue, but, but it was a cue that um, we really wanted to feel that shift as Alice is driving away that she really felt like, you know, this is the really, it's kind of the first time that she's ever stood up to Phyllis this entire time. Uh, we really wanted to feel that win for her, um, but at the same time feel the sadness of their friendship ending. Awesome. That was octaves. Uh, yeah, the perfect. That sounds great. It was actually the middle of episode seven that we we figured out we had to go into um, this quarantine and uh, to this lockdown. Really, for me, I, I'm just appreciative of, of the team and friends that I have that I was able to call on to ask for advice and help on how to do this. The way we we operate was sometimes I would kind of tune in and listen through the session or work with somebody through a session, but for the most part, uh, they were doing it by themselves. And so we would send the musicians their part and then the entire uh, recording and then uh, the recording in different stems, so different different sections, so they could use whichever sections they wanted. And then they played along to it, recorded themselves and then uploaded that back to us. And I was a bit nervous at first uh, of how that would work and just getting different quality recordings and whether or not people are going to be as inspired because they're playing by themselves as opposed to with other people. They still brought such musicianship and, and love to the music that they're playing even by themselves. And when once we put it together, it actually all it all felt uh, felt like it was gelling really well. 